Hey dads, are you looking to purchase a four-tine fork or a five-tine fork or a pitch fork or something like that? I, in the previous video, I talked about a short-handled four-tine fork that I like. And in today's video, I want to talk about a long-handled four-tine fork that we have because a friend let us borrow this one and I had to have, it, I got experience with both four-tine fork and the, uh, the long-handled and the short-handled. So let's talk about that today. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic review of the products that I like, use, and have. So if you're into that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. Also, that thumbs up is very much appreciated if you guys could hook that up for me. So in the previous video, like I said, I talked about our short-handled full-time fork that our friend let us borrow. I really like this one. I'll link this one up down in the description below. I definitely, if this is your first uh, four-time fork that you're looking to move compost or wood chips or something like that, which is what we were using it for, I'll link this one up. I recommend the short-handled one over the long-handled one to begin with. Um, there is a place for the long-handled ones, and I want to talk about that in today's video. First of all, one thing that I look for in all my tools, and I mentioned this in the previous videos, is a lifetime warranty. I believe that all tools pretty much should have a lifetime warranty because basically whenever a tool breaks and you bring it back to the store because it has a lifetime warranty, they're basically taking all the material, sending it back to the company, and then they just re-smelt it down and make more tools. So uh, basically you're giving them their resources back in exchange for a brand new tool, which is a pretty good deal for both parties, I agree. But um, the uh, other one here, the, in fact, down in the description below, I'll link up some five-time forks or four-time forks with a lifetime warranty. I believe Trooper makes one. I believe Fiskars makes one. This one, the short one, has a 10-year. This one, honestly, I don't know the brand name of. Like I said, I borrowed it from a friend. But reason why you should have a lifetime warranty on your tools. Look, he's got... Uh, a little something right here. Look, actually, it looks like this is not the original pole now that I look at it. And he had to add this little nougat right here to it and a, another little nougat right there so that the pole would fit into the hole here of where the fork is. And then he added some screws, some after uh, aftermarket, I guess you could call, uh, screws to it to help hold it into place. If he would have bought one with a lifetime warranty, this whole thing would be covered and he'd just have to go to the store and get a brand new one. I cannot stress how much, with tools especially, I recommend a lifetime warranty. I used to work at Sears and we sold Craftsman tools here and those have a lifetime warranty. I have experience selling them, I have experience using them. I, I highly recommend if you guys can get tools with lifetime warranties, you should definitely do it. And that's why I have a playlist of uh, products with lifetime warranties that I've reviewed here on Dad Reviews. So with the long handled uh, pitch fork or um, a five time fork, whatever you want to call it, four time fork. See, I'm trying to show you all how long it is. It's probably a six foot. Oh, that might be seven foot. I'm six foot and there's still a little six and a half maybe. Um, this one here, so the, the reason why I don't like it is because it really starts to hurt your back whenever you go to first, well, ah, there's so much I want to say. Uh, it starts to hurt your back, you know, you push it in and then uh, whenever you have a load here, you have to really uh, hold it way back here and then you like, I don't know, really it just, it puts strain on my back whenever I notice me moving the compost after I was getting the load. Another thing about it too is that you can't get that good oomph like you want to stab something like you can with the short time fork, which I mentioned in the other video. With this, you have the back of the handle here that you can really push into your, uh, to your compost or your wood chips to be able to get it into there. And then also with this handle here, it's easy to flip over your compost to put it down wherever you want, whether it's in a wheelbarrow or on a flower bed or whatever. Um, it's just a lot easier, I found, to use. Now, one thing that I did like about the long-handled, uh, 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 I keep forgetting what these are called, pitchfork here, is whenever we were getting it out of the bed, towards the back of the bed, not the, like, uh, closer to the, with the cab, uh, it was piled up high right there, the compost was that we were moving, and I could easily get into the top of that and more into the middle of the truck uh, without having to jump up into the truck and use that. 
So it helped me to uh, have to minimize some of the up and down of getting into the truck and I was able to, uh, to get this in there to move some of that, which was very helpful. Another thing about the long handled fork is that at a certain point, I was just kind of flinging it out of the truck to get it to cover a big area that we have that we're turning into a garden. And uh, whenever I was doing that, I was able to really stab it in there and then I just flung it like this because I could use this side as a lever like this. With the short handled one, you don't get that extra, like, I'd need to put my hand, if this was extended, maybe an extra foot or so, I could be able to really throw it that way. I mean, you could still do it, you could still throw it, but you wouldn't get as far because it's not as long of a handle like this one was. Whenever I was throwing this one, I could really, like, get a good reach to throw it out there, and that just helped to, uh, to not have to load a wheelbarrow and then go and take the wheelbarrow and dump it. Instead, I could just throw it out there. Or, uh, another thing that it was good for, if I was working on one side of the truck, I could stab, uh, the compost, and then I could easily just turn around, and the pole was long enough so that I could just dump it over outside of the truck. Uh, instead of having to keep constantly move back and forth like you would have to do with a uh, short-handled one. So, I'll link this up down in the description below. I'll just, since I don't know the brand name of it, it's a, it's got a red one, maybe the same as, as what's uh, here. This was a, uh, the Ames uh, Lawn and Garden Tools. If, uh... If I can find the long-handled one of that, I'll link that up. I'll just find a bunch of long-handled ones and link them up down in the description below. But uh, that's been my experience whenever we moved, uh, let's see, it was three yards of, of, of compost or wood chips, whatever you want to call it. So um, if you guys are looking for something like this, I would definitely recommend the short one, but the long one still has its place. This would be like a secondary one for us and not our main pitchfork. That's just my thought. If you guys have any information about uh, pitchforks, you know, what you like, uh, whether you found one better than the other, let me know that down in the comments below. Some of the best information comes from you guys down in the comments below, and I would love to hear y'all's experiences with them. Also, uh, if you guys want more of our videos, I'll put some more videos right there on the screen. I'd love it if y'all watch some more of our videos. If you want to get more reviews about these pitchforks, make sure to go check out the links down below on Amazon. There's plenty of people leaving reviews over there. If you guys want more of our videos, make sure to click that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching and dad out.